Hi friends, today we are going to make bindi curry and uh, for that I will go ahead and see the ingredients. So today we are taking um, okra obviously, uh, small uh, cut into small pieces, washed and cut into small pieces. This is ginger garlic paste, asafoetida or hing and here we have some dry mango powder, dhania powder, some chopped onions chopped tomatoes, chopped cilantro and this is Punjabi garam masala, this is heavy whipped cream, turmeric, red chilli powder, uh, dry red chilies and some cumin seeds, some crushed coriander seeds, some uh, green chilli and what is this? This is kasuri methi. Yeah, so these are the ingredients and let's start with the cooking. Okay, here I have heated the pan for some time now I'll add some oil mm. because I have to fry the okra so I'm gonna add a little more like basically I add uh, one tablespoon so I'll be adding two tablespoon instead and let the oil heat a little bit now now I'll add the okra We have to uh, cook the okra for some time. Maybe four to five minutes. So the thing is, we are first going to fry the okra and then we are going to remove it in a separate pan and then we are going to prepare the gravy and then we are going to put the okra back in the gravy and cook it again. So uh, I will be cooking the okra for about 90% maybe and then I'll take it out so that I can cook the remaining 10% 10, 10 in, uh, in the gravy. Now I have been cooking the bindi for around 3 to 4 minutes. You can see it's nicely done. So I'll just take it out in a bowl now. Now that you can see we have still some left over oil over there so we are going to put we are going to use the same oil so I'm just going to put some cumin seeds inside it and uh, the crushed dhania dhania seeds and the two red chilies break it and put it inside we'll allow it to cook for some time for a minute maybe then I'll add some a pinch of asafoetida then I'll add my one chopped onion And I'll cook it for two minutes. I've uh, cooked. Uh, I've cooked the onions for two minutes now. So we'll add all the dry spices right now. So I'll just add some turmeric powder. Some, some ginger garlic paste, half a teaspoon. one teaspoon of coriander powder 
half a teaspoon of uh, dry mango powder half a teaspoon of red chili powder and of course some salt add salt as per your taste now we'll mix it well nicely keep the flame low when you add the dry spices we'll add some slit green chilies and then we'll just go ahead and add the tomatoes chopped tomatoes After adding the tomatoes, uh, we'll let it cook for another five to six minutes till the uh, tomatoes are cooked completely and they become kind of mushy. So I'll just cover the lid and I'll let it cook on a medium flame. This is exactly after five minutes I have, uh, of cooking of the tomatoes. You can see that it's very nicely cooked, it's oozing out oil. So we'll move on and we'll add the kasuri methi right now. I'm just going to add the kasuri methi. And the garam masala because I'm not going to cook it longer. So I'll just add half a teaspoon of garam masala. And some cream. it let it cook for about one minute I'll add the fried windies to it. Cook it like this on a slow flame for 1 to 2 minutes now after 2 minutes you can see that it's done so I'll just add some chopped dhania leaves on it and it's done ready you can just serve it like this and just switch off the flame and it's ready to serve so guys this is the bindi curry i hope you like it do try it at your home and let me know in the comments uh, did you like it or not thank you bye